In a previous video, I showed you all how to create an Instagram website using the application Milkshake. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an Instagram website using Canva. Without further ado, let's hop in. So before I hop into the tutorial, I want to show you how this page works. At the top, we have an animation for the Canva logo just to draw the eye. And we have a photo background with some information about my YouTube channel. Then we have a series of six buttons that are color coded to match my color palette. And when you click on the buttons, they redirect traffic. So they send you to my YouTube channel, free resources, book me to speak, hire me on Squarespace, snag an ebook, and my favorite apps and discounts. So in order to create something like this to work in your Instagram bio, what we need to do is to hop into Canva. And when you go into Canva and you type into the templates, what you need to look for is a bio link website. And when you click on enter, you're going to see a variety of styles that are available within Canva. Now, this is something that a lot of people do not utilize. You can see how I customize this particular template. And this is an awesome way for you to drive traffic to various aspects of your business without using another application. So say for instance, if we liked the look of this particular design, all we need to do is to click on the design and use this template. Now here is my biggest piece of advice. This template is already perfectly sized for your cell phone. So when this resizes for a cell phone device, it's going to put everything in a really good place and people may need to scroll down if you make the page longer. So as long as you keep it on this template, when it crops on a cell phone, it's going to cut it off at about this point in the template. So if you want to get more leverage out of your design without having to scroll, just leave the bottom open but you can continue to add content. But I think if you extend it beyond what the template is already sized for, you may run into issues. So if we go back, if we wanted to move it so that we had a bit more space at the bottom, all we would need to do is click and drag the elements and drag them up. Then maybe you would bring this down a bit and bring the flowers down a bit. And so that just gives us a little bit more space at the bottom to make sure that the text for our buttons doesn't get cut off. So this is how it works as a website. Essentially, what you wanna do is to make sure that all of the elements are grouped together that you want to create as a button. You may have to do a bit of ungrouping and regrouping. So here's what I mean. If we go over to the side, and we select best sellers, you'll see that there is no grouping option because these are currently grouped together without the text. So what I would do is ungroup it and then regroup the entire element. So that way, no matter where they click on this image, they're going to get redirected where you want them to go. So we'll quickly do the same thing, we'll ungroup, regroup, and now all of these images are able to be hyperlinked wherever we want them to go. Now again, if you wanna change the style, that's something you'll want to do before you regroup the elements. Once they are grouped and you click on the element, you can see in the top right-hand corner, there is a place to link. And all you need to do is to link the element to the URL where you want to redirect traffic. 
Once you've done that for all of your buttons, then you want to change the name of the design here. Otherwise, when people go to your website, what they're going to see when they hover is the name of the template. And here's an example of what I mean. When you hover over my website, you see at LaShonda M. Brown link in bio. So that's actually the name of my template. So you'll want to name this probably your Instagram handle. You can add link in bio or whatever you'd like. When you're done, publish as a website. And so what's going to happen is you're going to have a few options on the side. You can publish it as a multi-page site, a scrolling site, classic navigation, or a single page site with a navigation bar. So you choose the option that best fits your needs. And it'll show you a quick preview when you click there. And if we go to my design, I believe I have mine set to presentation, but you can choose whatever you'd like. So if we select scrolling, we'll open the site and you'll see the website here and you would be able to click on the designs to go where you'd want to go. And this would be the link to your website. So here is the final tip, if you will. Once you have designed your new Instagram link and bio website using Canva, now we need to customize that link. Because when you go to my Instagram account, I have LaShondaBrown.com slash Graham Fam. I don't have that Canva link. So that it looks a lot more appealing in my bio than what is provided directly from Canva. So like I've stated in previous videos, there are lots of ways that you can customize your link. But if you have a Squarespace website, here's how I customize mine. When you log into my website on the back end, which is built in Squarespace 7.0, you're going to click on Settings, Advanced, URL Mappings, and then scroll down till you have some space. As you can see, I use this a lot. And so in order to create this link, I simply put a backslash, exactly what I want at the end of the link to look like, a dash, the symbol here, a link to the Instagram website, and then 302 to designate the type of redirect that it is. Now, if that seems complicated, the structure for a URL being mapped within Squarespace is provided for you in the text down here. They give you an example. This is a system that I use to create branded links within my business. So essentially what I'm saying is if someone goes to LaShondaBrown.com slash Graham dash fam, send them to this Canva design temporarily. So if I want to change that to redirect traffic later, all I have to do is erase this link and then put in the new link. So this is a very quick and easy way for you to brand that link so you don't have to worry about what Canva provides on their end. So this is a Canva hack that you can use in your business to create a very vibrant, unique link in bio for your Instagram account. You can also use that branded link on any other social media platform that you would like. So if this is something that you haven't tried before, search under templates, bio link website and give it a try. If you've not signed up for Canva Pro, you're going to need Canva Pro for this template. So make sure you go to LaShondaBrown.com slash Canva45 to get access to a free 45 day trial if you aren't already a Canva Pro member. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I'm going to teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. 
Until next time, ta-ta for now.